r slash ask reddit. What caused you to think I'm never visiting again after being in someone's home? Oh yeah. Did we mention we've got bed bugs? You should be okay. Though. Might want to give someone a heads up about that in advance. You know. So they can not come. Sister-in-law. Had garbage all over her place. Just everywhere. She had like 5 large bags piled up in her kitchen. By her computer. She must have had like 30 yogurt cups. The washroom had used tampons pads all over the floor. And the cat litter box was so full of crap. I'm not how the cat used it. I had a buddy I visited who played cat turd golf in his house because there were cat turds caked onto the carpeting everywhere. I believe an 8 iron was the club of choice. I once went to a party at someone's house in Florida at night. We were all hanging out in the backyard so the house looked okay from the outside. I asked the host if I could use his bathroom and I noticed the wallpaper looked kinda fuzzy but I chalked it up to being tipsy. It wasn't until he flicked the light switch on that the fuzzy wallpaper was in fact a huge roach infestation and they scattered everywhere and even more ran away from us when he put the toilet seat down for me and left. I was too scared to move. Let alone sit and pee so I just sped walked right the fuck up out of the whole house and held my pee until I got home. I have no idea how they were okay living in that house with a trillion roach roomies. Their bathroom floor was carpet and it was always wet. It went through my shoes and got my socks wet. First time. Maybe someone just showered. Second time. Nope I can't live like this. Cat shit. Everywhere. And their hermit crabs lived in the couch for whatever reason. Their house smelled so strongly of dog that I might as well have tied their dog to my face. But they only had one medium sized dog that spent most of its time in the backyard. I got invited to my sister-in-law's friend's house for a party because she got a new job. I was promised a facial. Turns out it was a Mary Kay party. The girl's job was to be a Mary Kay consultant. I had to give myself the facial and I spent more money than I wanted because I can never say no to people. She contacted me several times for a follow up but I was always busy. Another time I went to a co-worker's house for a work party. They had a flea infestation. Apparently they had it for months but the wife would only use natural means to take care of it because she didn't want to spray toxins in her house and she wouldn't treat the pets either with anything commercial. The natural stuff was clearly not working and I got bit several times. And those flea bites were god awful. I turned on a light in the bathroom and I saw at least 30 roaches scatter. In 7th grade I stayed overnight at a new friend's house. She thought it would be hilarious to point her dad's shotgun at me. I never went back. I ended up being left alone with friend's mom. The women spent 30 minutes telling me every outlandish conspiracy theory in the book. Asked for my help with her Facebook account because she was positive the government was tracking her with it because she knew that the end of times was coming and who God was going to punish. She said a lot and I don't remember half of it because my brain couldn't process the fact someone thought and believed all this. Love the rest of the family though. A failed scorpion farm. Made the horrendous mistake of spending the night at my ex's parents house. I woke up to the feeling of something crawling on me. I soon realized there were three somethings. I flipped on the light and discovered, scorpions. There are no scorpions native to our area. I freak out. Swap them off and then run to the bathroom to strip and check for more and when I turn on the light. Several scorpions on the wall scattered like roaches. I wake up the ex because seriously. WTF. Apparently when he was younger he thought ant farms were boring and decided to order scorpions on the internet and make a scorpion farm instead. The survivors of his arachnid Mad Max setup escaped into the house where a few turned into an insane amount. The very wealthy parents chose to live with the scorpions rather than call an exterminator. Never went back. Edit. Two of the three were in my clothes and one was on my face. Definitely not my finest moment. Urine cups. Plural, on open display until the host poured them out in the sink. It was such a mess that the most organized guests things would disappear into thin air and it permanently smelled like sausage rolls. First thing being threatened to have my dick cut off and possibly shot. I was meeting her parents for the first time. Never had any problems with a girl. 
wanted to meet her family. Freshman year in someone's dorm. A yellow jisok sitting on top of the keyboard and a bottle of dark orange liquid in a coke bottle on the floor next to it. Was supposed to be staying over and I was attacked by fleas. Noped right out of there right then after dousing my legs in red flea color that they had sitting around. Duck. Dingy. Felt like a drug front and he served me a drink and a dirty used McDonald's cup with a chewed up straw. In grade K I had a sleepover with one of my mom's friend's kid who was also in grade K. First off I brought my Game Boy. He also had a Game Boy. The difference was that his was covered in snot and other gross dried substances. Of course he tried to switch his with mine on multiple occasions. Secondly. He put on his mom's see-through black panties. That was enough for me. Scissors stuck in the ceiling. Like the whole living room kitchen area ceiling was covered with scissors. Edit. So there was like 30 pairs. At least. And this was in a trailer house so all I could think about was how horrifying it would be to be in this death trap in a bad storm or tornado. When I was introduced to the owner of the now dubbed scissor house all my questions were answered and the answer is meth. I didn't ask about the scissors I made my friend take me home. I stayed maybe 10 minutes total. Being in a scissor house with a bunch of crackheads is not how I like to spend my Friday nights. The house was over a hundred years old I think. Very thin walls. Water from a well. The tub was filled with moldy books and papers. The floor in front of the bathtub was rotted and caved in. The house was filled with stacks of newspapers and boxes from floor to ceiling and you had to navigate through them. The owner collected porcelain dolls and had them displayed in various places. Many just still in boxes. The living room had a small opening between the newspaper columns to an old TV surrounded by the dolls and a single chair to watch it. But the worst part. I kept thinking there were odd curtains pinned to the roof. No. They were billowing nets of spider webs. Webs so dense that they looked like fabric and were just hanging like strung curtains. Spiders crawling all over the roof. Pledged to never return. I found out many years later that it burned down. My friend didn't tell me they had bed bugs until a week after I had gone home. My room got infested and all my furniture had to be tossed including the dresser my mom had painted for me when I was a kid. You know. This thread makes me feel a lot better about the state of my place. The pile of dishes in the sink with spider webs on it. Upon being asked what the deal was. She told me that a couple of years ago. Her mom decided she wasn't doing the dishes anymore. They got divorced and the rest of the family swapped to paper plates. No one will do them out of spite so they've been there for more than 2-3 years by the time I saw it. It's been 5 years since and I doubt they've been touched. Stayed the night at some of my friends house. They had just got an older house that they all roomed in, unfortunately. All of them had gotten scabies and waited to tell me until the morning after of drinking and me spending the night on the couch. Had to do all kinds of extensive creams and treatments to get rid of. Got drunk at a party and one of my friend's girlfriend offered to take me to their house because I was too drunk to drive, which I appreciated, but when I woke up the next morning the first thing I saw was the house completely covered in very unshy. Very socialized roaches. Not the big ones. The little ones that completely just take over I was so uncomfortable and stranded in a house in the middle of nowhere for over 2 hours. Scratching every minute. So many cats. Cats were locked inside all day and they never cleaned up after them. Every surface in the house had cat food and or cat shit on it. Kitchen. Stove had cat shit on it. Take a seat on the couch, but mind the cat shit. No idea what the floor was made of. Because it was covered in newspaper. Fur. Food and you guessed it. Cat shit. No idea how the smell hadn't killed them. When I was a kid this other kid's stepdad gave me the weirdest vibes and I didn't want to be there again. Filth. Just everywhere. And just weird stuff. Like in the garage. There was a dirty spatula on the seat of the brand new holly. I saw one of the kids open a door on the coffee table and I saw a bowl full of what I'm guessing was either really old milk from cereal. Or yellowed cottage cheese. Right inside the front door was a huge pile of shoes. Like a pile of shoes. Five people lived in that house and I think each person had 10 pairs of shoes in that pile. 
I'm pretty sure everyone had some sort of foot fungus because the whole pile smelled like garbage and fritters. We keep getting offers to stay with them when we're in town. But no. Hard pass. The mom of my next door neighbors as a kid was a hoarder and the house was always sticky and smelled like sour milk. No thanks. Growing up I was good friends with a girl whose brother had passed away in his teens unexpectedly. They were a really nice family and I truly really enjoyed spending time with her. About 3 years after her brother passed away we were at her house playing and we smelled this horrible smell that was coming from his old room. She was so embarrassed and just said it happened sometimes I tell my mom but she doesn't care. So we decided to investigate because at 12 years old that's totally normal. Well. Her brother had about 4 ferrets. And they had reproduced at some point. There were about 10 dead ferrets. A dead turtle in a tank. Surrounded in fesses and mess. Moldy petrified food and all of his dirty laundry. Turns out his mom was so sad from him passing she just literally left his room the way it was. Animals and all. I told my mom what happened and her suggestion was to always have her over at our house from now on. Which was for the best. Me and a girl had been sexting each other for most of the afternoon. She was home alone so I decided to go round hers. First thing I noticed was there was junk piled everywhere and things had a layer of dust on them. And house smelt really badly of mustiness and wet dog. But whatever. Sex. Once I'd retrieved my discarded clothing from the floor once I was done. A layer of dog hair had attached itself to my shirt and jeans. The bathroom was the worst. Went to go and get myself cleaned up. The shower was absolutely filthy and the junk was still piled up in there. However. While peeing I turned to the left and noticed an entire colony of dead spiders on the wall. And black mold covering the corners of the ceiling. I finished up. Drove home and had a very long shower. They kept playing a game of who can make the guests more uncomfortable and both were winning. Also. I learned that dinner was too much to ask for. At a dinner party. In high school a friend's house was missing most of the carpet. And her room was covered in mud from her Saint Bernard. The kitchen never had any food and was the kind of house you didn't want to eat from anyway. The furniture was all dirty and smelled weird. 2. It was the most uncomfortable night of my life. I felt bad for her because she didn't understand that was no way to live. I imagine she lived like that her whole life. Finally went to a girl's house that I had been talking to for a little while. We were messing around on the couch. Things were advancing. And she asked to move to the bed. We get in the room and I noticed a foul smell. I started looking around and saw a pile of dog shit on the floor. NBD. We had been out for a few hours and accidents happen. I told her about it and she said oh no. Like she was surprised and went to the bathroom to get things to clean it up. While she was in the bathroom I spotted three separate piles of shit and one of them almost petrified and had to have been there for a few days. I told her I didn't feel well and was going to go home. I never saw her again lol. A pyramid of empty cat food cans one foot from their bed. They have three dogs. All three dogs are not house trained. They just pee and shit all over the house. They prefer the kitchen. This wouldn't be too much a deal if the people in the house cleaned up after them. No one cleans the house. Once you walk in your nose is met with a powerful smell of pee and shit mixed in whatever the hell else is going on in the house. The house is dirty all around. The carpets in one room are torn out. House is falling apart. Everyone is too lazy to clean. But not lazy to keep up with their entertainment needs. A massive unflushed turd. My ex's parents house was disgusting. They had two dogs they allowed to pee pretty much anywhere and they kept both the litter box and the dirty dishes in the shower. Dirty bongs and moldy dishes all over the place. Then her kid sister came down with a rat and said this is my new rat. I killed the other one inches. She stabbed it in the eyes. On the last day of my last visit. I noticed my mom's smoke detector was lying broken on the shelf. Having accrued a layer of dust already. I asked about it. And mentioned that I am concerned for her safety. Particularly given that she uses a wood fireplace for house heating. And has gas appliances. CO hazard. I offered to go pick up a new one as I was shopping for road trip supplies. She got angry. I was judging her. Which her child would not shouldn't do. Yelled at me. 
got in my face. Followed me out the door to my car. And stood in the street. Furious. As I left. I have never been back. Walked in my friend's living room and it is wall to ceiling Nazi memorabilia. I'm talking flags. Giant metal swastikas. Uniforms. The whole lot. I just backed out. Later learned his dad is a antique dealer and they were all being sold to some sort of institute. Still scared me shitless I thought I wandered into a trap. I will never again visit my bill and seal in the next state over. They are fire people. Financial independence. Retire early. They don't spend a penny on anything. Expect everyone else to subsidize their lifestyle. And openly judge anyone else that doesn't live life the exact way that they do. They go to bed at 7.30pm. So they expect everyone to have dinner at 5. And then be quiet when they go to sleep. They then get up at 4am. To work out walk the dog. But don't give the same courtesy to anyone else because it's our fault we're sleeping so late. Showing off their guns after having drank a ton of alcohol. I thought I was going to die. Her older sister was in trouble and arguing with her parents the whole time for having taken nude pics of herself and they were discovered on the family computer. Her excuse was to see if her nipples were even. In addition. My friend's dad took she and I to the store to get some veggies for dinner. When we returned to her home. The mom and dad were completely uninvolved in the making of dinner. Not a problem. So my friend and I made dinner. She chopped the celery and threw out the remainder that wasn't going to be used. Not worth keeping. Her dad comes down to eat later. Sees the wasted celery and starts reprimanding the friend for wasting so much food he spent money on. Towards the end of the night he was passive aggressively apologizing to us. Saying to his daughter. We scared your friend away. She's never gonna visit again. While I was completely in earshot. Just all around uncomfortable situation for a friend. Yo I didn't go back. A work friend invited me over to his house to watch a hockey game so I said sure why not. I bought a six pick of beers and he said sweet. He just put them in his fridge. He proceeded to pour himself scotch but never asking me I wanted to have a drink. Then he pulled out some leftovers and made himself a dish and again. He never asked me if I was hungry. Then I just asked for a beer that I had bought and he said I guess. But I was going to save them for another time. I left after the game and it's been really awkward at work. Dog cat hair everywhere couches kitchen table counters I am a dog person and even had dogs in my home before so nothing against animals. There was the laundry room which was the dog's shitting room with dried shit and new shit which stank up the house. Also a random dildo in the bathroom. The smell. I slept over at a friend's house and not only was her house dark and smelled weird but her dad immediately gave me weird vibes. I kind of let it go because maybe I just wasn't used to her house smell. And maybe the dad was just kind of intense. I dk. I brush it off. A lot of small things happen that are strange to me. Like not feeding us the entire day. Insisting we slept top and tail or sending us to bed super early. I just brushed it all off. Wake up early the next morning and the dad is just standing there watching the two of us sleep. He sees me awake and doesn't even say anything or acknowledge his weird behavior. That was the moment I was like oh. Yeah I'm never coming here again. Cat hair everywhere. Even in my glass with orange juice. Gross. No towels. Soap. Or toilet paper in the bathroom. Like WTF. Visited a friend from school who'd moved away to go to uni. There was a saucepan of food on the coffee table in the living room that someone had eaten straight out of. Hey. Not that unusual. Maybe there were no bowls clean. Visited her again a few months later. Same saucepan was still there and hadn't been moved. Haven't visited her at any of her homes since. A neighborhood family would watch me when both parents work overlapped. They had a friendly but smelly Labrador retriever. Hair everywhere. My friend had four hot dogs on his plate for lunch whole cross-legged in front of the TV. The abundance of dog hair mixed with the smell of hot dogs plus half a bottle of ketchup being poured on top of his lunch. I almost puked in my own mouth. Ran outside and my dad just got home. Think it was my first time vocalizing a need about never going back. Edit. I'm a mustard person. 
In middle school I knew a girl that thought she was a vampire. I knew she wasn't actually a vampire obviously but I was into vampire stuff at the time and befriended her. I got offered to stay the night and it was normal sleepover stuff until bedtime. She gave me a whole speech about how if I wake up and she not there that means she's out hunting. Apparently she only falls asleep if she watches the Muppets movie. About 15 minutes and she's out cold and I'm left in the dark of her living room watching a stupid movie. The main menu pops up with its stupid music and I can't figure out how to turn of the TV without waking her. So I sat all night listening to the menu music. Stupidly I hung out with her at my house a few weeks after and she bit me. I noped out of that friendship. I spent the night in the guest bedroom. And the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes the next morning was a pile of rat droppings on the pillow next to me. Basically a hoarder situation. Everything was just dirty. Their dogs smelled terrible. I hated sitting on the couch because I'm sure it hasn't been cleaned in like 60 years. Their dog pissing on my shoe because I was in her peeing zone. Which happened to be right in the doorway to their kitchen. She just let the dog pee there instead of bothering teaching her to go outside. Sadly my interactions with this woman weren't up to me. But I think that was the last time I went to that house in particular. She also let her cat shit between the wall and dishwasher in her next house for about 2 years straight and didn't even notice until she moved out. She's also a hoarder and her place is always crammed to the brim with furniture. This person no longer has animals. Thankfully. The dog went to another owner. I hope they treated her better. Went to my friend's girlfriend's house. She had 18 cats that were poorly being taken care of. The smell is piercing and suffocating. Strong of ammonia and dander. It took me about 30 minutes to breathe normally while in there. And even then the smell was bludgeoning my senses. Half dried puddle of dog piss in the kitchen. They have a boxer. So it wasn't a small dribble. The trash can in the pantry had maggots crawling inside and outside of it. Also on the floor. Lack of tea offered. As a kid I walked in on a friend's dad jerking off. He was also completely naked and extremely ugly. My wife's brother's trailer. I've been there a few times but I think I'm done now. They have four kids with one more on the way. There's just a gross film over everything. The carpet is all nasty. The kitchen is never clean. Toys are scattered all over. And the walls are covered in crayon and markers. I don't even really want to sit anywhere. Had the sexy time with a girl at her place. Was under the impression that her kids weren't home. We both fell asleep in the buff. Little bit later I hear this little kid voice asking if he can crawl up in bed. His mom is like sure honey and scoots over so he can lay between us. Noped right the fuck out of there. I may visit again because I'm polite but she lived in an 8th floor apartment with her two dogs and the poor dogs used a turf. The whole place smelled like dog piss. She would just mop the floor with some water which looked like it wasn't changed for a while. When I changed my socks later they reeked of pee. Poor dogs. I didn't see her take them for a walk once in the 24 hours I was there. And she kept moving the turf. She kept it in the kitchen during the day. And moved it to the balcony while she was home. So the dogs would full on lose where it was and poop on the floor. Makes me hesitate to come back. The acrid smell of urine was overwhelming. My aunt's house as a kid. I couldn't get out of it until I was older. Her house was disgusting and falling apart because they didn't take care of it. Kitchen full of moldy dishes. Bathroom repulsive. Loose rabbits in the house. And flea infested dogs. Their yard was full of broken kids toys. Abandoned cars. And there was dog shit everywhere. The icing on the cake for me was that they kept cows in the shed attached to their house. And left the windows open. I got licked by a cow walking down the hallway and never went back. I had this thought after visiting the house my friend shared with her, now ex, boyfriend. It was his house. But it was so messy you could barely squeeze in the front door. There were boxes and just stuff everywhere. I had to step over boxes just to get to the couch. And at that point I was mildly amused because I'd never really seen a mess like that before. But the true horror struck when it came time to use the only bathroom in the house. It was a small bathroom. Typical of a house built in the 30s. And the toilet was against the wall that was opposite the door. 
This is only noteworthy because there were months, maybe years, old urine caked across the floor. The wall. Every part of the toilet expect for the seat. Presumably because my friend kept that clean so she could use it. The smell was utterly horrid. Apparently. Her boyfriend liked to stand at the doorway and launch his piss to the toilet. He had poor aim. I left early because I really had to pee and I would piss in the yard before I dared to use that bathroom. When I finally got home and pulled off my pants I found two ticks on my legs. I assume I picked those up in that mess of a house. I never went back. I went to a buddy from school's house for a sleepover. It was a Saturday night. And the one stipulation was. That I had to go with them to church in the morning. I was raised Christian. I've strayed from the flock in my adult years. So I didn't think much of it. We got there. And people were getting healed by the minister. Pastor? Wizard man? Like getting touched on the forehead. Then convulsing into better forms of themselves. I felt so scared. Everyone was yelling and dancing. I was sitting there quietly for what seemed an eternity. They dropped me off at home. And I never went over for another sleepover. Met my biological father and half siblings when I was 12. Spent a night at his house to get to know my family. Proceeded to spend that entire night feeling disgusting. Watching roaches crawl across the TV. Trailing from the ceiling down the wall into the trash can. Crawling all over the piles of actual garbage laying on the bedroom floors. I did not use the bathroom that night. It was a very long night. This probably might not make sense to a lot of people but here it goes. Location. India. I used to stay in a dorm so when a locality invited me to their home for the weekend I was more than happy to go. On going there I realized that her family has severe prejudices against people from lower castes. It's an archaic system where people were segregated based on their profession and it was assigned at birth. Full stop. So I was served leftovers from the previous night in a paper plate. I was shown a separate bathroom to clean up and stuff. The best part was when they gave me a separate bed to sleep on. It was an old worn out bed with bugs in it. This took place in one of the metro cities in India and yes people like that do exist. I left the very next morning citing an emergency. A gun fell on my head and made it bleed profusely. Their giant ass dogs had no manners. I love puppies but their huskies jumped on me and scratched me up the second I walked in the door and were underfoot barking and tripping me literally the whole time I was there. I was trying to ignore them and not validate the behavior. Then the, unneutered, male started humping my leg. My friend just laughed and said oh ignore him. Bitch how? Couch covered in cat shit. My absolute best friend. Love her to death. Have been best friends since we were in elementary school. We're 28 now. Her parents were divorced and the last time I slept over at her mom's house I found a bug crawling up my back. I don't know what it was but it latched on. I was so skeeved out I left in the middle of the night and walked home, like two blocks down in suburbia. He offered a roast. But there was smoke coming out of his over and it looked like he was about to crawl out the window. He said it was steam from the steam clams we were going to be having. Then he came out with hamburgers and french fries. When I asked him about this. As in. I thought we were having steamed clams he said no. Steamed hams. And said it was a regional dialect from just one small town. He suddenly claimed to be tired and there was bright light and smoke and heat coming from his kitchen. I asked him about that. He claimed that it was the northern lights. Yes. He told me that the northern lights. At that time of year. In that part of the country. Was localized entirely in his kitchen. And he refused to let me see it. It told him that he steamed a good ham. But his mother was yelling about the house being on fire. If he can't be a good enough host to let me see the northern lights in his kitchen. I'm not going back. Roaches on everything. Everything. The sofa. The fish tanks. All 17 of them. The kids toys. The carpet. The walls. The empty beer and monster cans all over the place. I'd never seen anything so disgusting in my life. The roaches ran across the fish tanks while I was looking at them. The people who lived in the house didn't even loom slightly bothered by it. I was there to buy some coral from them. 
I couldn't get out of there fast enough and I was so freaked out that they were on me that I went outside and brushed myself off before I got into my car to avoid any contamination. It was horrifying. I told a few of my friends that were in our reef hobbyist group trying to decide if I should call someone about them. The someone else went not long after me, like that day or the day after, and then the wife blew up on us because they called CPS on them. Well. Don't subject your children to filthy nasty ass. Obviously you can afford an exterminator if you can afford 17 good damned fish tanks. Three of which are reef tanks with coral. After that. I refuse to ever set foot in someone else's home in the group except two families who I know are as OCD as me with cleanliness. The asthma attack I had the moment I walked in. They live with five people, all adults. Five cats and two big dogs, Cane Corso and a golden retriever, in a very small three bedroom house. The confederate altar over the fireplace. During my college days. I and my friend went to his friends, X place to smoke some joints and peace out. This ex has a single room house. A pet cat and a mattress on the floor. His room was stinking of cat piss and poop. There was no ventilation and no water to drink. I and my friend ignored all of it and smoked up with ex. After getting pretty high we played songs and then out of nowhere this ex got furious and started yelling and beating his cat. I freaked. Ran out of the house. Puked on the driveway. Asked the neighbors to give me some water to drink. Called my friend out of the house. Rushed back to my place. Called pet rescue people and got his ass busted. I bad tripped like a bitch on my way home. P.S. Bad English. They had accumulated so many dirty dishes. They just put them into the bathtub. Friend's mother offered to wipe my penis after I'd been for a piss like she did with her 4 year old son. Not only was I a few years older but I'm not he fucking son and she legit thought she was being helpful rather than creepy. I went to a friend's house for a sleepover in 5th grade. I wasn't a hard to please kid. So I have fun doing just about anything. He had an old Atari and some sim city like computer games. We had dinner, me, him, his dad, his mom, and his little brother. Who we'll call John. His mom told John to do something. And my friend echoed. Yeah. John. In a sarcastic tone. I repeated the same thing. Dad threw his milk on me over the table and told me not to talk back to his wife. I still spent the night. And everything seemed normal the next day when he went to take me home. I told my dad about it and he almost drove over there. But didn't. And just told me I wasn't ever going back over there again. His mom ran into me a year or two later and asked why I hadn't ever come back over and I told her the truth. Was not offered any form of bedding. Slept on the floor while they slept on the bed. Edit. There were three of us and we were both invited. Both guests slept on the floor. This has happened multiple times and I swear I will not go back now I can drive. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.